welcome back. So today I want to talk about the Fujifilm X100V. I got a lot of questions recently on Instagram about this camera and so I thought I make a new one. Um, as most of you know I was a big fan already of the X100F and when Fujifilm released the X100V last year I immediately had to get one. So I've been using this camera for over six months now and I'm still very happy about it. So this video is not going to be a review, I just focus on the highlights, what I like, what I don't like and all the photos you see throughout the video are shot in RAW and are edited with Lightroom. So the first thing I noticed when I unpacked the camera was definitely the beautiful, sleek, minimalistic design. The X100F was already a very beautiful camera but the new one for me that's like that's close to perfection. Um, also which they have new is the flippy screen which is amazing because I really love that for low angle shots and that makes working with this camera a lot easier. Um, it's missing the d-pad though. Um, actually I really like the d-pad on the old cameras but this one features a touch screen now but I don't like touchy things on a camera. So now I'm just using the joystick. So the second thing I noticed, the autofocus performance improved drastically. It now has the same performance as the X-T3, um, which is fast enough for almost every occasion. You have fast face tracking, fast eye tracking. Also the video autofocus performance got way better. It's just faster and snappier. And yeah, that's like a huge benefit to the old camera. So the third thing um, which I noticed was the image quality got better, it now has the same sensor as the X-T3 but which they really improved was the lens. Um, this is now the first time since they started the X100 series that they um, redeveloped the 23mm lens and it's now way sharper when you shoot wide open and you can really see the difference when you compare old photos and new photos when you shoot wide open and that's like a really good improvement for image quality and as most of you know the dynamic range of the raw files is insane yeah image quality from a Fuji camera is always superb another highlight for me is that the improved the electronic viewfinder um, on the old camera i noticed kind of a tint to the purplish color in my electronic viewfinder. Maybe I just had a bad camera or something. But in this one the viewfinder got a higher resolution, got bigger and it feels just way better working with this electronic viewfinder compared to the older one. Last but not least, the overall package of this camera is just amazing. It ignites pure joy when you pick up the camera and go out and shoot. It's the same feeling as I got with the older camera, but this one is just perfection. The autofocus got improved, the viewfinder got improved, the lens got improved, and they made the design a little bit more sleek and more minimalistic. And it's just so amazing to work with this little piece and yeah, so I use this camera mostly for travel and for everyday carry-ons, also when I'm riding my bike. I also use the conversion lenses sometimes on the 28 and the 50 millimeter. And now I'm rocking a Moment Diffusion filter, which I got a few weeks ago, but I didn't have the time to test it out properly. And I also added a new lens hood from Scrabbit, which adds to the retro design, I guess. And yeah, I can recommend this camera to everyone who wants to go travel or just everyday camera and have some fun and want some image quality and a nice, good looking, lightweight body. So if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below or write me on Instagram. I'm ready to help where I can and yeah, thanks for watching and like and subscribe.